can find around your house. I've got National Geographic and some art magazines and um, I don't know if this is Vogue, whatever it is. So that the magazines have a pair of scissors, a glue stick, or if you've worked with me before, maybe you'll use matte medium. And then your pieces of paper that you're going to glue down onto that are roughly, you know, cut up into squares or rectangles, around about five by seven, four by six, something like that. And we'll probably have time to do maybe four or six. So that's really all that we are needing. You have a cup of tea, always important. And um, we're gonna start. So, what I'm going to do is, in these little short uh, live videos, I want to really treat them as just a sort of a creative exercise that is getting you your juices flowing and is more meditative and mindful and not stressful. So please don't stress, this is the whole idea here is just to get you to enjoy 45 minutes that you've set aside to watch me. So, we're going to be making quick collages and I'm going to time each one for around about between 5 and 10 minutes. But so I'm wanting you to work really intuitively and quickly and not think about it too much. And the reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes when we overthink things, we tend to um, not respond from our a deep place within us. And I'm really trying to access that all the time in my work. And I want to help you do the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out a word and you're going to look through your magazines and you're just going to tear out whatever that word, however that word resonates for you. So um, you can cut or tear. I'll show you a quick um the first one I'll do along with you, and maybe I'll do all of them with you. But uh, let's just start one and see how it goes. So you're going to have one piece of paper ready and your glue stick and scissors. And I'm going to throw out the first word, which is um, peaceful, peaceful. So you're going to look through your magazine and just intuitively tear out whatever feels um, peaceful to you. So it could be a color, it could be a shape, it could be an actual image. And so far I haven't found anything here that feels peaceful except there. There's some clouds over there. Those are definitely peaceful for me. So I'm going to cut them out. And I'm going to go further. And actually this tree also feels like it could be. So if you want to go along with me and um, what I'm going to do for this first one is just show you that I'm going to Stick them down in a way that is um, that is just going to be not too thought out, not too planned, but just um, pretty intuitive and fast. And I'm working pretty quickly. I'll show you. I'll tilt the camera down a little bit to my desk so you can see. And um, let's say we'll do it this way. So 
I uh, so far just a few minutes have gone by I'm going to I think cut this to size maybe I haven't got everything yet but I've started to collect things and remember you can use words and you don't have to cut you can tear so I'm just tearing that and then maybe I will cut it off there and what should I do for the bottom no, I don't like that so much I'm gonna look for something else um, peaceful is the word is my peaceful calm collage and that was 10 minutes I'm going to show you one that I made in the um, in the other class which m was my peaceful one that was more abstract and uh, the colors and the shapes are what made me feel like there was a calmness to it. So that is the first one. If you are working, we're gonna move on to the next one. So the next one that I'm gonna introduce is anxiety. <laughs> Not something we know about right now, right? So, again, you're just going to cut out or tear out images, colors, shapes that for you feel like they evoke the feeling of anxiety. It's a beautiful bird. Looks very happy in the bushes. It's an Australian bird. And whenever I hear birds in the morning when I wake up, it's a very hopeful sound. So I'm going to put that somewhere. Maybe I can also, you know, take off half of it if I want to and place it there. Um, you know, you there's nothing stopping you from doing something three-dimensional. I'm just going to put it right there. Maybe I'll tear a little bit more off. So, I find these little collages very 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 uh, meditative and um, when I don't think too much when I get out of my head I feel really 
even if I'm expressing something, you know, not so positive, I still feel like I am, I'm kind of escaping um, my worries and my head and all the things going on in my mind all day long, every day. That is going to be a little fiery. I'm just going to use this color because it's, an, it's a little angry. I'm going to make my own shapes. Flame-like shapes. do that that I like I can't help trying to trying to balance my pieces it's always <laughs> it's just what I do naturally so I like the fact that this is balanced even though so those are my this is my anger So there we go. That is my, I'm gonna hold it up a little closer for you to see. That is my anger. Um, I'll show you a piece that I also made, which was, you could probably guess. This one was, I think, excitement. Um, but that was a piece I made a while ago. So these are the four that I've made now. This is, again, calm, peaceful. Hopefully we can get there one day. Um, hopeful, certainly want to get there. And... Um, anxiety I really like that one it makes me feel anxious just looking at it and this is anger angry so that's it mm -hmm.